everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the travel opportunities you can have as an engineer. So let's get started. So basically, I just wanted to give some more information about what is all involved with an engineering job and the different opportunities you can have when it comes to travel. Um, now, I know it may be something that's a little odd because uh, engineers are generally those who work on a computer or they work on hardware. Uh, what's the purpose of them, you know, traveling? Why would they need to go anywhere? But there is some reasons as to why engineers would travel. And ultimately, it does depend on where you work and what you do for your work. So I'd just like to shed some light on that area and to kind of explain to you guys how engineers can still travel travel for work. I'm going to first start off with the fact that I've worked at this one company for two, three years now, and I haven't really traveled for them. However, we do hold conferences once a year. But since I've been working here since COVID, it's all been virtual. Previous conferences have been held in Orlando, in Boston, um, in Denver, Colorado, and other states in the US. And this conference is where we kind of explain what our software is and how it works. And we show new users how to you know, use it. We also give tutorials and workshops on how to actually run the program. Um, we also have different speakers during this conference who have used this software and have produced uh, results from it. So it really is a way for us to basically like flex or to show off our little software thing and be able to expand it to other people and to new users. And it's still relevant in the engineering world or in the software world. Um, but yeah, that's the basic idea behind the, the conference. And the reason why I bring this up is because this is the only time where we would actually need to travel or are required to go to these conferences. Having that opportunity to go to those places is really great. I personally don't like traveling. I don't, I prefer not to go and prefer to just stay here. Um, but that's just a personal preference. Uh, of course, if you are someone who's interested in doing that, then you know finding a job that allows you to travel is great. So if you're looking for a job and you wanna be able to travel as an engineer, then I suggest looking for one that holds conferences once a year in different locations and also holds workshops so you can be a part of those workshops. The other reason why engineers would travel is if they just published a paper. Um, again, this happened to me, I just finished writing a technical paper, which if you've seen my last video, that's where I kind of explain, you know, why, why engineers would even want or need to write a technical paper to begin with. So if you want to learn more about that, then you can just click on the top right. When I published the paper, um, I published it to a conference that's held in Germany. And it's something that was an opportunity for me to go not only just to a different state, but also out of the country to a new area that I've never been to before, but I decided not to because once again, I prefer not to do that. Um, also, I, I don't have my passport, so I, I really couldn't go anyway. Um, I mean, I could have, but I didn't want to go through the hassle of getting a passport. And it's something that I'm like, eh. I mean, Germany sounds great, but I just, I don't know. I, I, it's just something that I would not like to do. But yeah, that would be another reason why engineers would travel is if they've just published a technical paper or a proposal or are involved in a workshop in a different conference. And that conference is only in person. It's not virtual or hybrid. Then yes, you would go and travel to that conference to present your information or present your project. So that's something you can also look out for if you are just starting out in your engineering degree and you really want to travel and you especially want to travel um, out of the country, then try to look for you know other conferences that are going on uh, during the year that are only in person and you know see if you can't submit a paper or submit some technical report or something of the sort that you can then present to that conference. But if you don't have anything to submit or to present, you could still reach out to your manager or your teammates and be like, hey, I've been looking at this conference and you know I think it would be very beneficial if we you know went there so we can learn about XYZ. That'll really benefit our company or our project in this area. You can use that to your advantage you can take advantage of the uh, conferences that are currently going on and just be an audience member. You can just go and learn. Um, you don't really have to participate. However, it might be a little difficult to convince your boss or your manager of this because when you go and just participate at a conference, it can be um, more of like, 
a mini vacation than anything else. You just have to be there and just show your face. So out of all those three options, I'd say that last one is probably the best. Just go to a conference um, out of the country or out of state uh, as a participant. And once you get there, the great part about that is uh, if you are going for work, then all you have to do is fill out an expense report and you'll get paid for the travel there and back. Um, also all the food that you eat, the hotel rooms, um, and a whole bunch of other things. Everything you basically spend on that trip or for that duration of the conference is what you know, your company will pay you back. However, there are some maybe restrictions with your company. Maybe you can only spend $400 or $500 uh, that week for on just food, and you can only spend a, X amount of money on you know the, the hotel rooms. So uh, you would wanna just look at those requirements for that company that you're going to be working for. Uh, but personally for me, they would cover all expenses during that time period of the conference. So if the conference was on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever I spent on those days, my company would cover that. So if you are someone who would love to go out of the country and doesn't want to spend a lot of money or hardly any, then I'd suggest finding a company that care about their own employees' personal growth and development because that just tells you that if they want their engineers or their workers to continue learning and developing then that's a good indication that they'll be willing to allow you to go to this conference and learn more about this particular area or this field whatever it is and expand your skills so that's something else you should look out for when applying to these engineering jobs but yeah i hope you guys kind of understood what i was basically trying to say in this video. Um, I just really wanted to shed light on the travel opportunities that you can get even as an engineer. Um, you don't have to be a salesperson, you don't have to be a businessman um, in order to have the opportunity to travel. You can still travel as an engineer and that's the whole point of this video. So I hope um, I was able to get that point across and to uh, show you guys that yes, you can travel. Yeah, that's basically it for this video. Um, I hope you guys like it and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see similar videos please click the subscribe button and yeah uh, thank you for watching bye